Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So let us start with our first project in cell scripting. So the today project which we are going to perform is how to install software in multiple flavors of operating system. What exactly I mean by multiple flavors of operating system? So suppose I have Linux operating system. I have written a script. Now I have Mac OS. Mac OS. So for that again I have to write a separate script. I have Windows operating system. For that I have to write a separate cell script. But this is not good. What we want? We want a single script which will be checking the operating system version, type of operating system and accordingly it will proceed with the execution of software installation. So before going into project deep of our project work, let us first do some prerequisite for this project. So we have to understand what is variable in cell scripting and a basic syntax of if else in cell scripting. So what is variable? A cell variable is a character string in cell that stores some values. It can be integer, file name, a string or some cell command itself. Basically it is a pointer to actual data stored in memory. Assigning a value to a variable, to assign a value to variable we generally use assignment operator. Let us see the example. So suppose I have a variable. So I am giving the name name itself is variable is equal to suppose I am giving its name as DevOps class. So I have defined a variable name is VAR and using the assignment operator I am assigning its value to DevOps class. Now when I have to use this value of variable, what I can do? I can use the echo command and then with the dollar symbol, you can call the variable. So echo dollar where and you see whatever the value is stored inside the variable that we are able to get. So how to use the value of variable using dollar symbol, you can call your variable. Now there is one more way to use this variable concepts that I will explain in some time. So now you understood how to get the value of variable. One more concept is whenever you are writing any cell script, the there is a few predefined values like dollar zero, dollar one, dollar two, dollar three. What is exactly this dollar one, dollar two, dollar three? So these are command line arguments passed to a, a script like I have written a cell script when I am executing it, it needs some command line input that is exactly used using the concept of dollar one, dollar two, dollar three. Whenever you will do dollar zero, dollar zero means the actual script name itself is your dollar zero value. So if a cell script needs three arguments, command line arguments, then those arguments can be dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, dollar four, as many arguments you want to pass to your cell script. So this is one more concept. So I, I hope now variable concept is clear. Now let us understand a high level of cell scripting where we will be understanding if else concept. So how if else is written in cell script? If then in the square bracket we will be writing the condition then we'll do semicolon and after that then keyword is used and then whatever the commands you have to write, write all the commands, then else block, then all the commands and then to close the if loop just opposite of if is P. So we will write, we'll close the if else condition with P statements. Now in if else you can have one uh, in the if you can have one condition and in the else you can have one condition. But suppose if you want to have 20 conditions, there is two ways. One way is you can write if again, you can write if again, you can write if so 20 times you have to repeat the if statement or the another way is if you want to use multiple if else statement instead of that you can use the keyword l if elif is like you can repeat the condition another condition again elif next condition so if condition one elif condition two elif condition three 
else whatever the final statement and then by closing fee statement you can use for closing the syntax so this is high level syntax for if else statement and if and multiple elif statements now what exactly we want to do we want to write a program right now which will help us to install git software in linux operating system and in mac os so let us do it practically so i i have a, a script called git install dot sh what exactly the script is starting with has exclamation sign exclamation sign bin bash this is shebang line so once shebang line is completed i am using the echo statement echo i am writing a message a script to install git and then one more echo statement installation is started now here this is very important line let us understand it twice so what i am doing there is a command called uname what this uname command does it's a linux command let us run uname so when i am running uname in linux machine it is giving me linux machine name as darwin similar way whenever you will run the uname command in uh, linux box see what it is giving it is telling it's linux so let us understand i am using dollar then a small bracket uname closing the bracket so what uname itself is giving linux now whatever the output of this command will be using the dollar we are getting that output so here in this quotes the value double quotes linux will be coming which we are comparing with linux in the right side so what i am trying to say left side also we are getting the value linux and right side also we are getting linux if this operating system is linux this means it has to run yum install git hyphen y which will install git software using yum method now we we have one doubt in our mind like why exactly this a small bracket we have used in our uname command so let us understand this first so suppose if i am defining a variable and in that i just want to call suppose date date command in linux so now you do echo dollar where so you got nothing you got empty result so the, the actual output of date command is not coming here but let us do one thing where is equal to date you put in the small bracket and now you do echo dollar where you can see the output of command is getting stored when you are putting the small bracket so this small bracket is exactly helping us to get the actual value of any command and then you are storing its actual value into the where keyword so i hope now this is clear for us so let us understand next i am using elif like if it is not linux if i am assuming if you name this is darwin darwin means mac os then a message i am printing that this is not linux box this is mac operating system and in mac operating system when we do installation there is a word uh, there is a keyword called brew brew install git which will install git software in our linux box else if either it's not linux not mac os then it will do else not installing so it will close the now let us remove if git i have installed previously so just let us remove yum remove git hyphen y and same in mac os also just i am doing brew unin brew uninstall git so this is not existing in our system as well so now let us run our script first in linux box so as i told you in the beginning to run a script first we have to change the permission what should be the permission execute permission so ch mode plus x your script name and then you can use dot slash and your script name to run it so now you can see 
git installation is completed successfully if you want to verify git is installed or not you can run simple command rpm hyphen qa grep software name git so you can see git is already installed in your system now let us run the same command in mac os dot slash git install dot sh so you can see the message printed here this is mac os and this is not a, mac, a linux box and now it is trying to download git software and using brew it is installing git in our mac operating system so i hope this program is clear to you guys two concept mainly we have to remember first concept which we have used like how to store the value of any command into a variable and second concept which we understand what is syntax of if else statement and if and elif statement that's it for today's video in coming videos i'll be coming with more interesting videos thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time